Welcome to the Better Every Day Daily Devotional. These meditations by my dad, R. Stanley, are for your wholesome development as a Christian. Greetings in the name of Christ Jesus, who was obedient to the Father unto the death on the cross. Today is January 10th. The title of today's meditation is Knowledge or Obedience. The reading is from 2 Peter, 1st chapter, from verses 5 to 12. I read from the New King James Version. For this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. To virtue, knowledge. To knowledge, self-control. To self-control, perseverance. To perseverance, godliness. To godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Therefore, brothers, be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know them and are established in the present truth. The memory verse for today is from Isaiah 53rd chapter and verse 11. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many. When Reverend Schwartz of the 18th century was a professor in the Halley University, he obeyed the call of God, came to India in 1750 and ministered in Tamil Nadu for 48 years without visiting his home country Germany even once and finished his race here. Is he not a practical illustration for the truth that obedience is greater than knowledge? What we need today is not more revelations but obedience to what has been already revealed. No other generation has had so many study Bibles and study aids. With the numerous Bible software and multiplied study seminars, we seem to surpass all the earlier generations in Bible knowledge. As we read in Daniel 12.4, we run to and fro to attend conventions and conferences to increase our knowledge. But the driving force is a lust for knowledge rather than a desire for obedience. This was the sin of our first parents as well. They were interested in acquiring more knowledge than walking in obedience before God. That's why they ate the fruit of the forbidden tree of knowledge. God is not against us gathering knowledge. In fact, He is the source of all knowledge and wisdom. But knowledge brings on us a tremendous responsibility. Sensibly, Apostle Peter admonishes to add to knowledge self-control. Otherwise, we will be barren and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is what we read in the scripture reading of the day. We all boast of how much of the Bible we know. It's time we take a stock of how much of the Bible we obey. Apostle James throws a loud challenge in his practical epistle in his third chapter and the 13th verse. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show it by good 
conduct. There is a renewed interest these days in the study of prophecies. It is certainly profitable. But what purpose does the study of prophecy serve if it does not lead us to spread the message of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus? That's what we read in the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 10. It says the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. This was the gentle rebuke of the resurrected Lord to the disciples. Just before his ascension, the disciples asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus answered, you don't need to know the time of the restoration of the kingdom. Your job is to just work for its expansion. That's what we read in the book of Acts, first chapter, verses 6 to 8. The prophetic testimony concerning Jesus was that by his knowledge, he would redeem many. That's the memory text of the day. That was why he was anointed with the spirit of wisdom and knowledge. On the other hand, the learned lawyers of his day were guilty of taking away the key of knowledge without entering in themselves or letting in others. I read to you what Jesus said in Luke's Gospel, 11th chapter and verse 52. Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in, you hindered. Beloved, I want to ask a question. Is our witnessing in proportion to our learning? Once again, is our witnessing in proportion to our learning? Knowledge that does not lead to obedience will only fill us with arrogance. John Samish of the 19th century has given us a timeless hymn. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His will, we all, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. We look at the memory verse again. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many. Shall we pray? Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the precious truth we meditated today. Yes, Lord, we confess that we are more interested in knowledge than in obedience. Our obedience to you is not in proportion to the Bible knowledge we keep acquiring. Forgive us, Lord, for this lapse in our life. Dear Lord, we tend to be more interested in your promises than your commandments. We are not able to join the psalmist and say, we love your commandments. We now realize that it is because of our arrears in obedience, you have stopped giving us further light and revelations when we study the Bible. Forgive us our stubbornness and stiff nakedness. Father God, we are not as keen on spreading your word as we are in studying it. This stagnation has stunted our growth. Though our head knowledge is increasing, our spiritual muscles are losing strength due to lack of exercise. With the sword of the Spirit in our hand, help us to march on with the shoes of the gospel of peace. Even with an incomplete Bible, the early disciples obeyed your command to go into all the world. We feel ashamed, O oh Lord, that we are so lethargic 
even after having the complete Bible in our hands. Fill us, O Lord, with the spirit of enthusiasm so we may share your gospel with as many people as possible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's thank God who spoke to us through the meditation of this day. These 366 meditations are available on our devotional book titled Better Every Day, which is available in English, Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Tamil and Telugu. You can contact us at 984301943 or at 9843707600. I repeat 9843011943 or 9843707600. Do forward these talks to your friends and become better every day.